and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about Chanel Le Beige Water Foundation. So if you're interested in some high-end foundations and that range, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I personally have always been interested in Chanel makeup, but the shade ranges for a very, very long time have only been on lighter, for lighter skin tones and the ones that kind of tipped into tan very very orange base so they didn't really have anything for my skin tone but i think for a while now they have introduced a wider um, shade range still not huge compared to other brands if you're going to compare it to like rare and fenty and those kind of brands are still quite limited in that respect but they are starting to have deeper shade ranges and i wanted to try this foundation because i think i saw it on tiktok to be honest and it looked really interesting the whole concept of it looked interesting and I know there are others brands like Rose Ink that do these foundations too but I wanted to pick up the Chanel one because I like the idea of this being a water-based foundation especially for somebody who's got extremely oily skin so something different to the gel kind of uh, silicone based ones because sometimes silicone foundations can make my skin feel oilier and I wanted to give this a try so what I did is I picked up quite a few of the found well their products from the range they come in the classic Chanel foundation box and I bought uh, the water tint fresh tint as well and I bought to compare the water fresh complexion touch too so my understanding is that the fresh tint came out first which is the very water-based skin like makeup which is just basically something to even out your skin so very nice day-to-day -day foundation if you don't like to wear foundation something just to even it out and then the one they bought out which is a fresh touch complexion touch is more of the sort of foundation type product which is been compared and which has been compared to the rose ink foundation because it's very similar and i will show you why so both of these foundations are water-based so if you are of oily skin I think it's gonna for me personally I have tried these and it lasts quite a long time in oily skin it was also very hydrating so it's 70% water in this product and in this product you get the water tint foundation um, skin tint sorry which is looks like this so as you can see that has those little beads of um, pigment inside the bottle there it looks quite bizarre really and then inside the box you also get this brush which is to be honest it's just it's not that helpful if you're on the go then maybe it would work so the consistency of this this also comes in a travel formula um travel size sorry at, which is 15 mils and this is 30 mil, 30 mils and it is quite an expensive foundation or skin tint as you can imagine it's chanel and it was £52 for this bottle for 30 mils. I imagine this would quite last me quite some time, but it still is quite an expensive product. What I would advise is looking on places like Boots, which is a drugstore in the UK, because I bought this at a time, unknowingly actually, it was 10% off premium brands. So I got this for a little bit less, and I think Boots tend to do that every so often. So if this is something you're interested in, probably keep your eye out on the Boots websites and see whether you can get this as a kind of slightly discounted but yes it is an expensive product this is so consistency wise it comes with a black pump i brought you really close in so you can see so it has this black pump here and consistency wise you can see it is literally just like water so as you can see it runs and you should be able to see that all those small little pigments that are inside and one or two pumps does actually go quite a long way. I'm just going to pump it again so you can just see actually how much product comes out. This is two pumps, which is actually going to do more than enough for my face. I better catch it before it runs away. So how you're meant to use this is that you're meant to actually break the pigments in on your hand first. So if I start pressing, you should be able to see that the pigment starts to kind of break up and the colour starts to come out. This isn't anything necessarily new. This type of thing has been going on for a while. But you can see there that the pigment has started to break out and the colour started to come through. But the thing it's then held 
in this water. So what I'm going to do is on this side of my face, I'm just going to put this straight onto my face. And you, I've found the best way to use this is with your hands. So the pros of this is that, like I said, it feels super light and it's really nice just as, as a base to your as to your skin as if you're doing kind of everyday makeup and you just want something that you don't really have to pay that much attention to you just put it on your face and run basically and this is why I quite like this product it feels so light on the skin but it does feel moisturizing but not in a greasy way at all so as you can see it's kind of just evened out one side of my face compared to the other the colour that I have is light deep, so in the water tint foundations or the water tints, in the water tint tints there aren't that many colours so I picked up light deep and I think this works really well, it just kind of just evens out my skin and yeah, doesn't feel greasy after a few hours, it kind of stays quite some time just evening it out and without that greasy feeling that sometimes you can get with other silicone based foundations so this is what it looks like from one side to another you can just tell it's just kind of slightly evened my skin out just gonna come a bit closer you can see there so it's not going to give you huge amounts of coverage so if you're somebody who loves coverage and has wants like a one and done product where you can just cover, conceal and everything all in one. This isn't going to be the product for you. This is really for somebody who just wants to run out the door, put some colour on their face or just spend a bit of time maybe afterwards concealing where they need to but still have that kind of fresh face. It just gives you that glow and it makes your skin look super hydrated which I really like as well. So this has been a win for me and I will continue to use this. I've used it quite often and quite a lot, lot, lot I would say I've used this maybe once or twice a week since I bought it I've had it about six or seven weeks and I suppose quite a bit of it has gone already so like I said it is an expensive product but it, it just it's really nice for everyday wear the only thing I would say about this product is that if you're using sunscreen which most of us are using every day is to really let your sunscreen settle in before you use it because this water based product on top of sunscreen can then make this kind of milky white cast and I did that the first or a couple of times first using this where I didn't really let my sunscreen really settle into my skin first before applying this product and unlike other foundations that can kind of sit on top of sunscreen and you can blend and you can kind of do your steps quite quickly with this one I think because it's water based it will start to kind of make a bit of a mess on your face so make sure you let your sunscreen settle in before you start using this so on the other side of my face I'm going to show you what the other product looks like and this is the water fresh complexion touch and I bought this in B70 which is this one here and as you can see here you can probably see a bit more closely all the kind of like little beads inside all the pigment beads now I bought colour B70 because I was watching a lot of other YouTubers to try and match my colour because I bought this online with Boots and I think maybe in America they don't have as many shade ranges as they do in Europe but B70 is much too dark for me and I was picking out YouTubers with a similar skin tone to me and who wore some like foundations around the same ranges as I do so I wear for reference Taiho in in NARS which is probably slightly too deep now colour 6 in Glossier and what else can I give you references and um, Toasty Toffee in Estee Lauder Double Wear so when I was at the airport because I was at the airport recently coming coming back and going to my holiday I tried this again in the colour B40 which is quite a lot lighter than this B70 and that was perfect fit which but it's out of stock at the moment so otherwise I would have picked it up and so I'm going to pick that up in a B40 but I can still make this work just because I have just come back from holiday and I've this will probably be definitely more my summer colour but as we get into um, deeper into September October time there's just no way I'll be able to wear this before because it will just be too deep um, compared to my neck but let me show you what this is like 
and I would advise because it's such an expensive foundation to probably go and get colour matched rather than go online and I would also um, recommend buying it from Boots if you do decide to opt for it online because Boots are probably one of the only places that offer a 30 day returns on all of makeup, skincare and everything. If you don't, if you're not happy with it, you're not happy with the colours of everything, they will refund and exchange without any like trouble at all, which is a great policy because a lot of companies don't do that. So this is the Chanel foundation version of the skin tint. So as you can see, it's got a, the pigments, if you can see, the pigments are a lot tighter in this one, in this foundation type one. And they are in the water-based one it's quite hard to see because this one's frosted glass but it is a lot tighter uh, in here so there is more pigment in here this one's 70 percent water and i think this is slightly less let me just check the site on the website i can't actually tell how much water is in this one i know the other one's 70 because the lady at chanel told me but i think there's slightly less and just more pigment in this one basically so again, on the website, it advises to use it in the same way. And you can see that the consistency of this, it's much, much, much thicker. Can you see how thick it is there? So it's much thicker there. This is holding a lot more pigment. It says to use it in the same way is to kind of burst the pigment on the back of your hand first and then apply it to your skin. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So as you can see, then it comes up with this kind of very moussey, but again, very light feeling foundation. So you can see the colour there is slightly, it's a bit dark to be honest. But we're going to put it on this side of my face so you can just see how it looks. And it just feels really nice on as well. She's using the viewfinder as a mirror. Now you can see, excuse me whilst I use the viewfinder as a mirror there, you can see that it just gives you that, that just more coverage than this side of my face here. So here you can probably see more of the hyperpigmentation I have, whereas this one, it does give you that more of a, definitely a medium coverage and it is buildable. So that's just one layer there. And then I'll just put a tiny bit more on. And a small bit does actually go a long way, which is good. Just break up the pigment again. And I'll just put some more on here. So this one is buildable. But it's never going to be as buildable as some of like those MAC foundations or the NARS foundations that are just more full coverage or Fenty, things like that. It's never going to be as buildable as that. So if that's the kind of look that you enjoy wearing, this probably isn't going to be the best for you. But this is much kind of a like it says in the title, like a fresh face. I hate that kind of saying clean, but a fresh face, barely any makeup look, which is the sort of foundations I tend to wear every day, unless I'm going to a big event in the evening where I tend to wear something more like double wear that's gonna really kind of stick to my face. Here on this side of my face, the coverage is slightly more so than this side, actually a lot more coverage on this side than that side, but in person it feels really nice it does feel moisturizing but it doesn't feel heavy or greasy like some of the thicker foundations do so i'm really enjoying using this as well especially during the summer months because it's actually still quite warm here in the uk surprisingly and this is providing me kind of a nice foundation especially to wear to work when you're commuting because it is so light i'm not getting that sweaty greasy feeling which i've been enjoying using and it also comes with a brush this brush is probably even worse than the other one it's like a small pointy brush uh, again this is 50 pounds a 50 pound foundation and i would buy it again when it is on offer it will last you quite a while because one pump does actually go quite a long way so even using that on half of my face was quite a lot for me because it does go a long way it doesn't feel sticky like i've used a lot though which is good but you can get quite a lot out of this because the pigments are so tight this brush, however, is kind of kind of pointless. I think if you're on the go and whatever and you can just get in like between your nose and stuff like that and you're on the go, then great. Or if you want to do put a little bit more on a certain area, then that might work because it's quite a dense brush. But otherwise, 
for me the brush is pointless but what I have been using these brushes for is for two other products I bought in the range as well actually they're part of the they're both the same thing they're the blush versions in this range because the blushes for me just really appealed and I love blush anybody who watches this channel knows that I love brush blush is probably the biggest like sort of the most product I have in my collection even though I've got gotten rid of a, quite a few bits recently I still have loads of blush just because I love blush so much and I bought two, two colours I bought deep bronze and I bought apricot deep apricot as well so probably in the bottle they look almost exactly the same colour in the bottle as you can see there and when I squirt them out they'll probably look exactly the same so same concept 70% water with pigments that you burst inside put it on the back of your hand and burst the pigments first I tried this the other way around just kind of using my brush or putting it straight on my face and bursting the pigment bursting the pigments on my face but it then comes out quite patchy so this is the one which is which one's this this is deep bronze and it's this really <clears throat> so this is deep bronze and this is the kind of Again, that very runny consistency. It's very hard to see the colour because it is suspended in that water, but it looks kind of purpley brown. And I'm going to just squirt the deep apricot as well. And you can just see, you should be hopefully, hopefully be able to see the slight difference in this more of an orange colour here and this kind of almost plummy brown colour there. And what I'm going to use is use this kind of this brush that came with it and just burst the pigment of the apricot one so I've just burst the pigment there and you should be able to see the orange come through now I'm going to use the other brush that they gave me just to burst the bronze one which is this one here and you can see here once the pigments burst that they are very like different colours so I'll put one on one side of my face and one on the other. So this bronze one, I would say it's more of like a pinky, reddy colour. And you can see it's, it is super pigmented as well. The pigments burst and that tiny little drop will do both sides. This is going to be, I, I'm going to look probably over, bron over blushed now just because I'm using, well that was more like half a drop to be fair. And one drop or half a drop will do both cheeks very easily and it's just this really pretty colour that looks like it's coming from within because it is so light so that's the bronze colour there and this is the orange colour so the more you work it you see how the bright the brighter the pigment is the more you work it into the back of your skin so the more you burst those pigments and this is one I've been really enjoying using every day and it's very very orange and that was half a pump so you can imagine that this product should last you quite a while and it's such a pretty colour and once it dries down it, it feels like it's kind of fixed to your skin and it does last quite a long time in your skin. It's lasted me all day at work, so I can still see it by the end of the day. So it's a long-lasting product as well, even though it's water-based. So here is the deep apricot on my skin. And these retail about £40. And here is the deep bronze on my skin. So I think they're both really pretty colours. And if I was to pick up anything from the range again... I would definitely pick up the blushes before I pick up the foundations. It's not to say that I don't love the foundations, but if you want to get something for yourself, which is Chanel and a really beautiful product that will last you a much longer time than the foundations, because it is a lot of money to put down, then I would say get the blushes first, because the blushes will last you forever. They're really beautiful and you can layer them atop of all your other foundations or base products. Whereas the foundations, they are more expensive and I think you have to replace them much faster than you will these blushes because these blushes will last for a really long time just because of the texture and the consistency of them. They're so beautiful. So this is what they look like on the skin. I'm really glad I picked these face products up, these complexion products up. I've never had complexion products from Chanel before and 
they are gorgeous it's made me realize that i probably want to try some other foundations because i've got some other staples that some others say that are just like the best face and base products they've ever used alongside that i did also buy one lipstick from chanel i've got a couple of chanel lipsticks already i do like chanel lipsticks they are heavily fragranced chanel lipsticks so if you don't like fragrance near your mouth then they're not going to be for you they've got like a typical kind of old school floral lipstick smell it does disappear after a while so it's not like it's a lipstick scent that's constantly by your nose and you're smelling it so it does it does disappear but it has that kind of typical lipstick smell i think like revlon or one of those brands or l'oreal also has that kind of lipstick smell as well i love the packaging of chanel lipsticks they look really nice when you pull them out your bag and they're just they're really kind of simple basic but they're but they're pretty packaging and I bought one of from the Rouge Coco Flash range and it's a colour moment number 56. I bought this because I saw a TikToker called Olivia wear this and she said it was a perfect date night lipstick and I think she's right because it's looks quite brown but it doesn't translate completely as like very brown on the lips but it's kind of a natural colour that you can just put on again you don't have to necessarily use a mirror to put it on because it's just so natural and it's quite moisturizing too so this is that lipstick which is moment number 56 and it, I think it costs about 30 pounds the lipsticks here but those are often on offer in boots too so if you see it on offer I would definitely pick that up so this is the color moment number 56 the Chanel I can smell it now but I know this smell will go away eventually but it's that initial smell when you're putting on Chanel lipsticks they are quite they are really floral and if you've if you know if you know that scent you'll know exactly what I mean when I say an old school lipstick scent but the color is so pretty it's really easy to wear it's one that you can top up without necessarily using a mirror because it is just kind of almost a bit of a slightly deeper blush colour for the lips and it's very moisturising too so that's why I decided to pick that up because it looks so pretty on her and we've got similar complexions again so I thought let me just try and give it a go myself. Interested to know is has anybody tried any other Chanel makeup products especially the foundations has anybody got any recommendations on kind of formulas or blush formulas that kind of thing please leave a comment below and let me know. And if you are also of deeper shade colours, is there another foundation range within Chanel that you found works really well for your skin tones? Let me know because I know that Rose Ink do this kind of foundation is cheaper, but I think what the comments have been is that it's quite difficult to get the colours because maybe they're leaning a bit too red, whereas this one, they do kind of more of a ready base and a neutral base so i might pick this up in b70 which is the neutral side the b is the neutral and i think that works really well when you have that mixture so let me know if you've used anything from chanel yourself what have you used what are your hero products let us know below or if there are things that you we should really avoid from chanel let us know as well help us out not to spend that money and i will see you in my next video take care